I think I've found it. The best Star Wars game. Sure, sure, you've got your Battlefront and your Republic Commando, both great games, and I am not, by any means, an expert on Star Wars video games, but Star Wars Knights of the Republic is what fans dream of in regards to an immersive, interesting, and fun Star Wars RPG. Or what they dreamt of up until the game's release in 2003 for the Xbox and PC. Developed by the seemingly more PC-focused Bioware and published by LucasArts, Star Wars Knights of the Republic is a must-play for fans of the expansive space opera franchise and for anyone looking for a great RPG. Please, help us! No! This cannot be- No! The most intriguing aspect of Knights of the Old Republic's design is its appeal, hopefully, regardless of feelings towards Star Wars media beyond the original trilogy. Knights is technically a prequel, but not in the same time frame as the controversial films, instead taking place 4,000 years before the Empire came about. The story then follows a player-created character that does in fact have a canonical identity, much like Commander Shepard in Bioware's other space epic, Mass Effect. And much like that game, in Bioware's even more similar Dragon Age Origins, Knights features the ability to interact with the varied cast of characters that eventually fill the ranks of your party, increasing the emotional impact of some of the game's key plot twists. Ultimately, the ending of the game and your role in said plot twists depend on a karma system. The choices influencing said karma system and the subsequent turn to the light or dark side aren't labeled as good or bad, and this is a welcome design choice considering some of the less immersive, obvious choices present in more recent games. That being said, it's still pretty obvious what will happen after responding a certain way in the somewhat dynamic dialogue system if the player does in fact have a solid moral compass. But let's be honest, we don't because we play video games, so uh, we're all murderers. Speaking of murdering, uh, gameplay. Knights of the Old Republic features a round-based combat system in which gameplay can be paused and commands can be issued, but actions are ultimately carried out without real-time player input, similar to, um, well, Dragon Age Origins. Up to two other party members can be brought into the environment in combat upon leaving the home starship, the Ebon Hawk, and certain quests and objectives may be unreachable without the aid of your thief, droid, or Wookiee friends, among the six other possible allies. RPG mechanics surrounding the moment-to-moment -moment combat feature genre staples like specific skill leveling, new feat and power allotments, class-specific equipables, weapon and armor upgrades, NPC interaction, and numerous side quests. But similar to other Bioware RPGs and unlike other popular Western RPGs like Skyrim, Knights features more linear environments. Upon landing on one of the several planets, such as Tatooine, the physical route necessary to reach the main quest objective is very clear, with a few exceptions. This isn't necessarily a bad thing though, because it only emphasizes the non-linear choices, character interactions, and lore obtained from said characters. The game still manages to reach a pretty hefty total playtime upon completion. Despite all it does right, the story, the choices, the incredible worlds and lore, and the tactical gameplay, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic isn't perfect, especially when viewing it through a modern lens. The game still looks great, voice acting is incredible, especially for the aliens and character of Karth, and music is characteristically Star Wars, but the flaws are more prevalent in game design rather than in technical terms. Sure, cutscenes are a little stiff, and backgrounds look more like less impressive backdrops, but you may have noticed my couple of comparisons between Dragon Age Origins. That's because it's pretty similar and was also developed by Bioware. I also absolutely love that game. But, fandom aside, it's clear to see that Bioware had perfected the formula they did so well in Knights. I don't mean to suggest that it's any less of a game, and Dragon Age certainly isn't Star Wars, but modern gamers might find a few archaic devices in its design. Regardless, Bioware created a true gem and the best Star Wars video game experience with Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, one that nevertheless stands the test of time and is a must play and must own for Star Wars and RPG fans alike. As you wish, Master. You will find this most relaxing if you would come with me into the massage room at the back.